ओम ज्ञान चमरांदस्या ज्ञानंजन शिलकाय चक्षुर उन्मिलितान्येन तस्माय श्री गुरुवे नमः श्री कृष्ण चैतन्य प्रभु नित्यानंद से अद्वैत गदाधर श्री वासादि गौर भक्त वृंद हरे कृष्णा हरे कृष्णा 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 हरे 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 राम हरे राम 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 हरे हरे त्रिनाद पीसनी चेना तुरोर एवा सहिष्णुना अमानी ना मान देना कीर्तनी असदा हरि हरे नाम हरे नाम हरे नाम आइव केवलम कलो नास्तिव 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 गतिर अन्यत कामिका एकादशी Maharaj Yudhisthira said O Supreme Lord I have heard from you the glories of fasting on Deva Shayani Akadashi which occurs during the light part of the month of Ashad Now I would like to hear about the Akadashi that occurs during the dark fortnight of the month of Shravan July August O Govinda Please be merciful to me and explain its glories. O Vasudeva, I offer my humble obeisances to you. The Supreme Lord Sri Krishna then replied, O king, please listen attentively as I describe the auspicious influence of this holy fasting day which does remove all sins. Narada Muni once asked his father Lord Brahma about this same topic. O regent of all, said Narada ji, O you who sit upon a lotus throne, please tell me the name of the ekadashi that occurs during the dark fortnight of the month of Shravan. Please also tell me which deity is worshiped on that holy day the process one must follow to observe it and the merit it awards Lord Brahma then replied to his son My dear son Narada for the benefit of all humanity I shall happily tell you everything you wish to know for just hearing the glories of kamika ikadashi bestows merit equal to that obtained by one who performs a horse sacrifice certainly great merit is obtained by one who worships and who also meditates on the lotus feet of four-armed lord gadadhara he holds kanchel club disc and lotus in his hands and he is also known as the names shridhar hari vishnu madhav and madhusudana and the blessings achieved by a person who worships lord vishnu exclusively are far greater than those achieved by one who takes a sacred bath in the ganges at kashi varanasi in the forest of naimisharanya or at pushkar where i myself am worshiped it is said that pushkar kshetra is the only temple on earth where lord brahma is formally worshiped lord brahma continued One who observes Kamika Ekadashi and also worships Lord Sri Krishna achieves greater merit than one who has darshan of Lord Kedaranath in the Himalayas or one who bathes at Kurukshetra during a solar eclipse or one who donates the whole earth in charity including its forests and oceans or one who bathes in the Gandaki river or godavari river on a full moon day that falls on a monday when leo and jupiter are conjoined 
observing Kamika Ikadesi, bestows the same merit as donating a milk cow and her calf along with their feed. On this day, whoever worships Lord Ashridhar, Lord Vishnu, is glorified by the demigods, Gandharvas, Panagas, and Nagas. Those who are afraid of their past sins and who are completely immersed in sinful material life should observe this best of Akadashis according to their ability and thus attain liberation. This Akadashi is the purest of all days and most powerful for removing sins. O Narada, Lord Sri Hari himself once said about this Akadasi, One who fasts on Kamika Akadasi attains much more merit than one who simply studies all spiritual literatures. Anyone who fasts on this particular day and remains awake throughout the night will never experience the anger of Yamaraj, death personified. Whoever observes Kamika Ikadashi will not have to suffer future births. In the past, many yogis who fasted on this day went to the spiritual world. One should therefore follow in their footsteps and strictly observe fasting on this Akadashi day. Whoever worships Lord Hari with Tulsi leaves is freed from all implication of sin. Indeed, he or she lives untouched by sin as the lotus leaf, although in the water, is untouched by it. Whoever offers Sri Hari but a single leaf from a Tulsi tree attains as much merit as one who gives away in charity 200 grams of gold and 800 grams of silver. The Supreme Personality of Godhead is more pleased by one who offers him a single Tulsi leaf than by one who worships him with pearls, rubies, topaz, diamonds, lapis lazuli, sapphires, gomeda stone, cat's eye gems, and coral. One who offers Lord Keshava newly grown mandaris from the sacred Tulsi plant gets rid of all sins one has committed during this or any other lifetime. Indeed, mere darshan of Tulsi Devi on Kamika Ikadashi removes all sins, and merely by touching her and praying to her removes all kinds of disease. One who waters Tulsi need never fear the Lord of Death, Yamaraj. One who plants or transplants Tulsi will eventually reside with Lord Krishna in his own abode. To Srimati Tulsi Devi, who awards liberation in devotional service, one should therefore daily offer one's full obeisances. Even Chitragupta Yamaraja's secretary cannot calculate the merit obtained by one who offers Srimati Tulsi Devi a perpetually burning ghee lamp. So dear is this sacred Ekadashi to the Supreme Personality of Godhead that all one's forefathers who offers a bright ghee lamp to Lord Krishna on this day, anyone who does so ascends to the heavenly planets and drinks nectar there. Whoever offers either a ghee or a sesame oil lamp to Sri Krishna on this day is freed from all sins and enters the abode of Surya, the sun god, who has a body as bright as ten million lamps. This Akadashi is so powerful that if one who is unable to fast simply follows the practices mentioned here, 
he or she is elevated to the heavenly planets along with one's forefathers. Lord Sri Krishna concluded, O oh, Yudhisthira, these were the words Lord Brahma spoke to Narada Muni concerning the incalculable glories of Kamika Akadasi, which removes all sins. This sacred day nullifies even the sin of killing a Brahmin or of killing an unborn child in the womb. And it also promotes one to the spiritual world by making one supremely meritorious. Whoever hears these glories of Kamika Akadashi with faith becomes free of all sins and returns home back to Vishnu Loka. Thus ends the narration of the glories of Shravana Krishna Akadashi or Kamika Akadashi which is found in the Brahma Vaivarta Purana. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare.